Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss undeposited funds in QuickBooks and why do you need this, uh, uh, this account. Okay, so the definition here is undeposited funds is a special uh, account created by uh, QuickBooks as a special clearing a holding account for payments that have been received but uh, not yet recorded into your bank account. So going through this clearing account or holding account, uh, it makes it uh, easier to reconcile your bank account later. So why have undeposited funds? A couple of reasons. So you have more than one check and you want to group them all into uh, one uh, bank deposit. Uh, another one, merchant process, multiple credit cards, and group them all into one deposit, one bank deposit. Uh, and uh, and merchant sometimes they deduct your fees so when you uh, re receive payment your receive payments gonna be uh, uh, different amount than what you see in your bank account that's why you need to send it to a deposit in my funds account and you have received one check for uh, for a customer for uh, multiple invoices uh, another thing is uh, you, you, you want to print a deposit slip uh, for your own internal record and if you just do uh, receive payment and uh, deposit to directly to bank account, uh, you can't print a deposit slip in QuickBooks Online right now. So you have to send it on deposited funds, and from there you would need to print a deposit slip. That's the way it is right now. Okay, so uh, so this is QuickBooks Online uh, logged in, and uh, so of course you invoice and then receive payment in here okay so receive payment let's say this guy Adam Anderson I have a couple of uh, invoices in here uh, let's say you uh, uh, receive payment on this invoice let's say you receive payment on this invoice and uh, you, 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 you want to send it to undeposited funds uh, because you're gonna to go to the bank uh, later on and deposit this check along with some other checks uh, you have uh, uh, in your office okay so amount received is 500 so you send it to undeposited funds and save, save and new I'm gonna do another one Okay, here is uh, another one. I'm going to receive payment and send it to undeposited funds. Save and close. And the next step is you go to bank deposit in here. This is all manual at this point. Okay, so in this case, uh, you have to decide where you're going to deposit these, these uh, two checks. Let's say I'm going to deposit this, uh, these two checks to uh, Chase Checking. And the deposit slip, it will say $1,000. So you're going to deposit $1,000. And if you need to print deposit slip, it's basically it's right here. Print deposit slip and summary. It will look, look, look like this. Uh, so if you, if you don't need to print it, you, you can just save it and close it. Okay, so this is uh, uh, kind of a, a traditional way of uh, printing deposit slip and uh, uh, attach it with your uh, check stop uh, for your internal rec record. Okay, so save and close. So now you will see this $1,000 uh, posted to your bank account. So if you go to bank register and this is for Chase right here it's $1,000 it's in uh, bank account so it's basically uh, the process wise uh, you invoiced it you receive payment and you send it to undeposited funds and you went to bank deposit and I want to move from undeposited funds to uh, selected bank accounts, 
it's in bank register now so that process is done okay so now how about uh, uh, you are doing uh, uh, bank download here this is your bank uh, this is your banking center okay and let's say this one is your credit card deposit uh, from your credit card company let's say $400 from two different uh, uh, customers and uh, if you if you're not interested in creating sales receipt you can just do it here the split it uh, let's say this is from uh, so this is your income sales two hundred dollars and select another customer sales two hundred so the difference is zero you can just save it it will uh, uh, it will post to your uh, bank register okay that's one way but if you want to uh, create a sales receipt for this one uh, then and send you have to send it to undeposited funds that way it will match with the, this this four hundred dollars okay let's see it okay I've already done uh, two sales of seat in here so as you can see here uh, one for 200 one for 200 and another one for 200 so all, all at this point all you have to do is select these two so I've created a sales receipt for those two customers uh, Bob Bobby Smith 200 uh, Adam Smith, uh, Anderson 200 and this is on 828 and the bank account uh, it goes to is not Chase it goes to a checking account so here's your four hundred dollars and so deposit date is 828 so save and close okay so now uh, this is I'm on uh, now banking center again so here's your banking center transaction so now you can see uh, the mat sign in here green mat sign so at this point all you have to do is just match this and then it's done uh, so I'm just gonna match it so it moved from new transactions now it's in QuickBooks it's pouring it also right here okay so uh, how about uh, let's say another uh, example in here I I did undo undo here so now it's back to in here and let's say I'll go back and uh, uh, do this okay here's your four hundred dollars I'm going to delete this Okay, and uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, the invoice amount is higher than two hundred dollars. I'm gonna adjust this. Let's say this one is uh, two ten. Okay, another one. Let's say two ten. Okay, so now I want to match th that uh, uh, match against those two invoices, and uh, the deposit is only four hundred dollars. And this is in this case, I'm gonna uh, I'm assuming they took out uh, twenty dollars for their bank fees from 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 credit card company. Just an example. Uh, so you can split it here if you are not creating any uh, uh, sales receipt. If you're not creating a sales receipt. But they deducted uh, uh, deducted uh, their bank fee. You can just create like this. As you can see here, those two it's 
$420 and difference is 20 bucks and 20 bucks let's say is the bank fee bank charges and just do the negative that's your expense these two are income so the difference is zero now so this is uh, adding it to your uh, QuickBooks without creating sales receipt and in our case uh, this case we have already created sales receipt so what you need to do now is you need to go to receipt you need to go to the bank deposit again right here we'll do the same thing 210 210 and it's 420 so it's 20 dollars off because it's 20 dollars is a, a bank fee and you just select the bank fee in here just like the other way so now the total is 400 so that's the amount you see in your bank account too uh, so there's a checking account a checking account that's where it went okay so now seven close okay it's back to mass deposit here so once you match it then basically it will move from right now it's in new transaction you'll move from new transaction to QuickBooks and just match it so that's how you have to do uh, so that should explain uh, undeposited funds uh, thanks so much for uh, uh, listening and watching our video uh, you, you can uh, uh, subscribe our YouTube channels we have two channels in here and uh, uh, we also have a Facebook you can like us on Facebook thank you again bye